Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I created a skirt crease in a super easy way using some sticky tape. Can wait to show you guys how I did this. It's probably one of the easiest way I've ever like managed to create a cut crease. Now, before I go in with any eyeshadow, I am first going to prime the eyelids. I always like to use the MAC Cosmetics Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre. So I'm applying this all over the eyelid and then now I'm gonna go in with this tape, which I just got at a really affordable kind of like craft store i'm gonna cut like a piece that is kind of like the same length as my eyelid shape and then i'm gonna use a scissor to create kind of like a i don't know how to say it in english but kind of like a rainbow shape and that's kind of going to decide how the cut crease is gonna look. So you might wanna practice with this and you can also make some of these in advance um, for if you wanna use it in the morning and you wanna be really quick. But I only used, or I only tried it two times to get the perfect shape. So it wasn't that difficult, but just make sure that um, when you cut a piece that it's like the this way it's going to be super easy so now i like place it on the eyelid and i'm going to go in with this palette from ColourPop, which is the your golden eyeshadow palette which i think i've already used once before on my youtube channel i'm not quite sure but i will try to find it and link it down in the description bar in case you're curious so i'm going in with this kind of like warm brown shade and i'm gonna blend this right above where i place the sticky tape this is super easy because I can just blend my brush on top of it and um, this is so easy. Like this was the first time for me trying this technique. I've seen a lot of people do it on TikTok and Instagram. I don't know who kind of like started this trend. If you guys know, definitely let me know so I can credit the right person. But I've seen a lot of people do this and I think it's actually genius. Um, so I wanted to show you guys how to do it in today's video, even though it was the first time for me trying it as well, but it was surprisingly super easy. So if you struggle with like creating a really sharp cut crease, definitely try this out. So now after using like that shade in a crease, I'm going to remove it and you can see when I remove it, how sharp the line is on the eyelid. Super awesome. Normally I would use some concealer to create the shape, but this is obviously so much quicker which i think is so cool so now i'm going in with a color and i'm just gonna dab this all over the eyelid of course if you recreate this look you could use more shades in the crease more shades on the eyelid but this video was just like focused on the sticky tape technique and kind of keeping this eye look a bit more simple but if you want me to do like that same trick with the tape um but do more of a dramatic look definitely let me know if you want me to do more videos using this trick so now it's time for eyeliner i'm gonna go in with this eyeliner which is by huda beauty actually one of my current favorite liquid liners um, i also really like the ofra cosmetics i think it's called the certified eyeliner if i'm not mistaken but mine is empty so i'm now using this one by huda beauty which is super nice has a super tiny precise point which works really easy to create like a really sharp winged liner I have just noticed grabbing this one almost every day when I'm doing my makeup off camera and yeah, I just really like to use it because it's just so precise and it also is not running out. You know, sometimes when you use a liquid liner, it kind of gets into your fine lines and it just kind of bleeds. I think that's how they call it, but this one doesn't do that, which is really nice. So after going in with that warm kind of brownish shade again and using that for underneath the lower lash line as well. So I used it in the crease, so I wanted to use it for the lower lash line as well. Um, but you can use any shade that you like, of course, or you can skip this part. Whenever you create a makeup look from one of my videos, of course, you can give your own twist to the eye look. And also, if you recreate one of my looks, don't forget to tag me on social media. Um, I have my Instagram handle in the description bar. I would love to see your recreations. And then now next, I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know what the name is, but I will link all the details of the products I used in today's video in the description bar below this video. So definitely check it out if you want to know like specific products that I used. So using this light color all the way in my waterline. And then now I'm going to curl the lashes. 
I always go in with a lash curler before I go in with mascara because it just makes my lashes look longer. So I'm gonna go in with this Gucci Beauty mascara, and which is actually one of my favorites. And I'm just gonna coat this on the upper lashes and of course also on the lower lashes. I did notice that I had some fallout underneath the eyes from that color that I placed on eyelid. But I just used kind of like a tapered blending brush and just sweeped everything away. So now I applied some lashes. I used the Anytude Feisty Lashes and then here you have the finished result. I really hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Let me know if you're gonna try this tape trick. I think it was so easy. I will be definitely doing it more often if you guys like to see more videos where I do it. I think it's so easy, so I'm definitely gonna do it more often, I think. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you did enjoy, this is really helpful for my YouTube channel. Hopefully you have all learned something from this video. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!